Williams, we're going to go over some training today at the whiteboard. The objective for this video is that you understand that you'll sell what it is that you attempt to sell. So I'll give you an example of what I'm trying, what I'm saying. I have an agent in Texas. He's a newer agent with us. He's using our telemarketing uh, system. He's averaging five appointments a day. This agent is an experienced. He knows exactly who I'm talking about. If uh, if he watches this video, uh, but he's selling. <clears throat> okay, so he is. He has the appointments. He is an experienced and successful final expense agent, but he's making the transition to Medicare. So, and that, that makes sense because he wants the renewals. Now, here's the interesting thing. He's averaging five appointments a day. He's making thousands of dollars each week, as it turns out, but he's still selling only final expense. So the moral of the story is you're going to sell what you pull out of your bag to sell. If I was running those same appointments, I would be selling a bunch of Medicare. If I had trained that agent, or if he was trained to sell hospital indemnity, I bet you he'd have a bunch of hospital indemnity plans sold. And if he was an annuity expert, he may have found one or two of those, possibly. But the fact is, he's pulling final expense out of his bag, so that's what he's selling. It's pretty logical. You sell what you attempt to sell. So let's, uh, let's go through this, the progression of products and why we do it the way we do it. Number one is that Medicare products, we want to sell the Medicare because that's where the renewal base is. That's what's going to give us the ability to relax in the future, the ability to not be stressed out and always have to run after the next sale. So that's important and that's a great idea. That's why this particular agent is even making a transition to, to, from final expense to Medicare. He's already seen some of the ugly side of the final expense business. That he Some agents is fine, so I'm not saying telling you what to do. This is just an option for you. So we want to sell this because we want to build the renewals. However, in our four product progression that I promote and that many others buy into and also many others promote, the second product is final expense. We want to sell final expense because it gives us a nice hit. It's a nice financial hit, especially in the early years. If you're rolling and you've got a thousand Medicare products on the books, you may not even care about this because your renewals will be hundreds of thousands of dollars. So you won't care about having to get that $800,000, $900,000, $1,500 hit from that one sale because you, you will already have established your renewal base and you will massage that book of business and constantly be looking, strategizing on how to grow that block of Medicare business. The third product is the hospital indemnity. The hospital indemnity is a great product. Almost all of these Medicare advantages, Medicare Advantage plans, barring the uh, dual co coverage plans, they have a out of pocket that might be anywhere from say two fifty per day to I would say four hundred per day. So that's and that could be six days. That could be four days. Whatever it works out to be, it could be five days. It usually ends up with a hospital rider for about several thousand dollars. So and I've gone over hospital indemnity training. Again, if that agent was out to sell these, I know he was in houses where they had hospital indemnity, he would have sold them. And you agree, don't you? Of course you do. You sell what you pull out of the bag to sell. And the fourth product that we do is the annuity. And the reason we do the annuity is because heck, you can walk out of one sale with $10,000. There's nothing wrong with that. It might be $15,000. It might be $5,000. But if you hit, one, say, one a quarter, one of these each quarter, in your early years, it's like the, even a blind squirrel could find a nut mentality, <laughs> then you, this is going to make life a lot easier. You keep your eye out for these. So how do, what do we do? We walk in the house. We talk about health. We talk about 
there, uh, we, again, we have this conversation, and if you look at the video series called Nick's Presentation, Nick's Presentation, it's a playlist on YouTube, it'll show you how to get to this Medicare sale. It'll also show you how to transition to the final expense. It will show you exactly how it's done. The hospital indemnity, again, it's, it's there because it, it's, it's an extra $200 per sale, first year commission, if you can add it on. And it helps people. It's like, what senior, how many seniors, what percentage of seniors have a couple thousand dollars to spend on hospital bills? If they go in the hospital for a week, that's what's going to happen. You can stop that from happening. And it's a, it's a, it's a affordable price on this. So, and again, the annuity is the final thing. You want to go through the progression. Focus here, security, some lump sum cash pay, payments to you for selling this to cover those bills, especially in the early going. Uh, just a great add-on, great add-on, okay? But you notice we're keeping it simple, we're keeping it streamlined, we're, and it's a method. It's a me very methodical. And then the annuity, it's like, you know, you're going to get lucky. You will get lucky. You keep an eye out for them, and you will get lucky. So that's it. I want you guys to, again, one last time, you will sell what you pull out of the bag to sell. That's it.